Well, well, well. One Piece has been known to keep me on my toes for big reveals, but last episode, I would say was the biggest in a while, but then we had the Sanji thing and the Kaido thing. Like, it just doesn't really stop with this show, to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss, and we are back in Zo today. Last time finding out that all of the people of Zo, all of the Ming tribe, knew that Raizo was, in fact, here and safe the entire time, and people straight up died for him to be safe and for jack to not know for me to not know it was a great reveal very well done i'm excited to learn more today if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started oh what isn't that either it's either jack's or kaido's jolly roger jack dies is he actually dead no wait who is this him reading it yes i made it baby let's go yes hell yeah okay we're back we've never been more back all right what's the next plan of action i like this we actually get to see a little insight where are they going so he has like a little mammoth and then there's scorpions with them what's the next plan of action man we don't get to see and all right back to zoe back to finding out why protect rizo surely it's worth having many of your people die and your ancient civilization destroyed surely probably not but we'll see i like how this is what got them to sit down next to each other actually that is a cat wearing a shirt that says cat on it and a dog with a hat that says dog on it that's incredible this <laughs> one piece hey tell people say one piece ain't peak you show them that that scene right there i feel like it's just gonna cut to them going at their necks again not a big deal bro you lost an arm dog cat sorry sorry <laughs> i'm so stupid oh uh, what is that bro bro had his own like white beard version of tattoo <laughs> kozuki clan crest oh it's, like proof duke wait the dog the cat and wiseau all have that wait, so they're technically in the clan too i should say the kozuki clan it sounds bad if i just say the clan they're in the same one together? I thought it was like an alliance. Yeah, but bro, poor Momo has just been trapped in a closet for like a day. Talking, yeah, where are the, where's the crest on them? How can it be on your fur? How do you tattoo fur? Yeah, like shave them to see it. <laughs> kind of a cool crest. So are they from Wano? Wow, oh, they're still button heads. We have to get backstory with them, man. This is the only way we really understand why they hate each other so much. Aside from the fact they're just a cat and a dog. Maybe that's literally it. Oh, they said they used to be friends. That's right. They said that, right? So they used to be close, like best friends. And if this doesn't bring them together, what would, you know? Good question, sir. I'm wondering the same. <laughs> Momo. <laughs> Oh, wait. Are we going to see, like, through Momo's eyes? Does he know? Oh. You're making a child cry, guys. Yeah, they did say that. Yeah, good question, Momo. Thank you. I forbid you? Because of my father. The Kenamon's right there. <laughs> I don't know if you have the, the leverage to... Who is Odin-sama? What? What? He has the leverage to do that? Kinemon is right there. Kinemon isn't his dad? I've been lied to again! What the f is happening? They're bowing to him! Well, there's so much we don't know. Oh, damn. Oh, dang. He said Momonosuke Sama. What? Bro, there's some crazy stuff going on. Yeah, for real, bro. Anybody else want to come out with lies? Oh, what? It's someone named Odin? Bro, we need the full picture, bro. I'm so confused. The heir to Kozuki Odin Sama Great Daimo of Curry. Oh, so Momonosuke is like royalty. Momonosuke Kozuki. The Kozuki clan, they said. They're all part of it. They're all his subordinates. Damn! That's why they bowed to him. Dang, bro. He's the heir. The son of Odin? Is Odin the current lord? 
Bro, who is Odin? Is it like the Lord of Wano? Yeah, for real, if he's that important, the plot thickens. I would say Momonosuke is way worse, bro. He gets away with way more. Oh, he's so small. <laughs> I like how he felt the necessity to apologize. It's cute. Oh. Oh. Big. This like perspective is so bizarre now, knowing how important he is. Do we for real just like befriend all royalty? Friggin' uh, Vivi, uh, Shirahoshi, Momonosuke. Oh, dude, 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 he is so gross. Stop. Ew, dog. Mommy just lets him get away with it. Oh my gosh. Oh my. She's gold digging a child. This is absolutely shameless. This is max shamelessness. And now he's going for Robin! Chirina's supposed to be. Oh, oh, wait, it's been a few months since what? Since he like, left Wano? I don't get an explanation. Sure, bro. Sure. Okay. I mean, to be fair, they have revealed quite a decent amount in these couples, so I'll give it a pass for now. They're so alike, man. Except Luffy's not really a perv. I don't know if Luffy even knows what that means. I'm gonna keep it a bug. So do, do we get any more answers on why the dog and cat hate each other? So it's Momonosuke that they'll bring them together. Maybe it takes royalty. Because neither of them are gonna put their ego aside. I feel like the dog would before the cat. The cat seems more uppity. Oh! I was right! He should say yes. There's no way. Yes! Let's go. Okay, but them forming this tiny bridge will lead to a larger bridge, a much more supported. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Boy, when was the last time they saw that? It took the heir of the Lord of, of Wano to tell them to. Dude, imagine how powerful it could be if they teamed up, man. It'd be sick. They might have actually been able to fend off Jack if... Uh, if they had fought together. So the Kozuki clan. It's Momonosuke Kozuki. Son of Odin Kozuki. Heir to the throne of the Lord. You know, Momonosuke being very important kind of makes sense. Like, he kind of gives me that vibe of, like, a prince or, like, a young lord. Like, I guess sort of the entitlement. He has a little bit of it. Like, a, a, a slight tingle of it. Oh, time for a flood. Okay. Wait, why is it just sparkles and not water? Oh, I need a chopper. Oh, it is beautiful. My goodness. Oh, shoot. I want to know the history behind the tree. Like, there's no way that's natural, man. There's just no way. Oh, where are we going? Yeah, no explanation? Sure, guys. Okay. Oh, we're going to get another sock. Okay. Oh! Climbing the whale? Oh, shoot. Oh, it's where Rizo is. Uh, not a very inconspicuous hiding spot. I'm not going to lie. But who's going to climb that entire thing? I know Jack wasn't getting, getting his mammoth self up there. That is enormous. I just like that the cat and dog are kind of like chill right now. It's so funny hearing from say like Momonosuke Sama now. The voice I hear is getting louder. Oh, that way he's sick because of a voice? I thought it was just like them climbing that was making it. Oh, Law's coming. Similar ability to Odin. What? Another man who uses his... Wait, why is he getting sick? What, what voice does he hear? Huh? Oh my god, man. The foreshadowing goes crazy. Is he in here? Like, locked him away? Oh! Dang, bro. Oh, on the tail. Actually, good spot. Hidden door and puzzle. Yeah, dude. There's no way anybody find this. Oh my gosh. Like a secret Minecraft base, man. I'm just curious as to why it was so important to keep him safe, or like keep him hidden in general. <laughs> I want him to like picture like Naruto, bro. <laughs> it's cool that Law's coming too. Oh. Why is he? Is he suffering? <laughs> is he like just not gonna look like a typical ninja? Is that why it's like setting it up like this? 
I'm so curious, man. And like, yeah, why is it crying? Why is it the miss a ninja for this is this is Rizo? Oh, does he like feel guilty? Oh, he actually feels guilty for everybody getting hurt for his sake. Dang, bro. Is that a moon? Like crescent moon on his head? Yeah, I was gonna say their their vision is ruined. Yeah, I was right. They, they were setting it up like that. Bro, he has the exact same hair as freaking Gidatsu on Skypea. Why is he like? I mean, does he is he suffering because he feels bad? Finally, we see the man that has been set up this whole time. Yeah, he's not really what I expected him to look like either. Is he very short? It seems like it. Either that, or it just looks like that because he's sitting down. Bro, tell me that's not Gidatsu's hair. Tell me he's not some like long lost relative of Gidatsu. It would make sense. Not really, but like you know what I mean. Like One Piece, the world building, etc. Oh, here he is. Um, he he's a character for sure. He looks interesting. Obviously, a very empathetic person. The fact that he's like just bawling, seeing that everybody that's brought him food is injured, realizing that everybody on this island is pretty much injured for his sake. And dang, he's even like, yeah, you should have just given me up. It's it's very interesting. I'm very interested to see exactly why it wasn't important to keep him safe. He must have some insane devil fruit power or something that like Jack just wanted to use and abuse or something along those lines. Wait a second. But there's no way. Is there another shot of him? There isn't. Is this a fucking Ponoglyph? What is this? This looks like the inscriptions. Dude, and they didn't give me a wide shot purposefully. I'm like sitting here. I'm like, wait, what's on this one? Dude, there's no way. Okay, 769. I'm almost more intrigued to see if this actually is one than whatever Rizo is. Oh, are they all sick because he doesn't look like what they pictured? <laughs> I, he's gotta be like crazy powerful. That's why he looks a little goofy. Why is he tied up though? Or like chained up? What's the point of that? Aww. It is a Poneglyph, bro. What the hell? Wait, why is his face so large in the proportion of the rest of his body? I just really, wait. We've only gotten like certain shots, but that one that looked bizarre. His face is very big. Guys, somebody pointed out it's right there. It's gonna be Robin to point it out. I just know it. Oh, he's really tall. Yeah, his proportions are so bizarre. And this is One Piece. Oh, the crest, the Kozuki clan crest. It's like a swan. It reminds me of Bonkle. What's on the tree? Somebody point out the poneglyph! We point out the crest first? Thank you! Yeah, it's like super red. Usually they're like dark blue, black, I don't know, gray. Ah! What does it say? Everybody lock in. Everybody lock in. Oh my gosh. I'm so hype. I'm so hype. Actually, yeah, the the sheer scale of the tree reminds me of the Ohara tree. And there was a Poneglyph in that one. The bottom. Yeah, it was a dark blue, purple. I'm car blind. Thank bro, it's been a long time since we've seen all this. And no wonder they haven't found this Poneglyph though. The fact that it's in this tree. God, that background music is so beautiful. Yeah. I doubt they know. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's different from all of them. They've all been the same color. A different purpose. Dude. Dude! Please say yes. <laughs> Oh my, lock in, lock in. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's nothing to cut to either. We're here. No other random side quest going on. Guys, guys. Why does he look like that? Oh my gosh, okay. I guess she's reading it and she'll tell them. Actually, she might not even tell them. If she doesn't tell them, I'm, I'm done watching. I really am. I don't mean that. Oh, a shuriken. <laughs> I know all the like stereotypes. <laughs> is meditating under a waterfall like a Naruto reference, or is that like always been a ninja thing? <laughs> I actually don't even know. Cause it's cool. <laughs> it's because we're men. Oh boy, it's like ninjas. Even Law and Zoro are standing there smiling. 
I'm gonna freak out, bro. I was ready for it to cut the robin. I'm gonna freak out, man. Shadow clone technique! <laughs> Summon a giant frog. Okay, at least one of these has to be a Naruto reference. I don't know what was original to that and what wasn't, but can he like not do any of that? Like he doesn't, he's not your typical, typical ninja. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, they just know the stereotypes. <laughs> How broken up Law is about it is just so good. They don't. With this physique, so not all ninjas look like this? A quiet and tough mind? <laughs> the tongue click he is a character man why was he here and why chained up i'm so confused oh oh he's biting he's going he's doing it oh! <laughs> wait he's not a skamazer wait that was actually kind of sick is he actually invisible wait this guy's kind of crazy Shadow clones! Wait, why is those kind of cracked? Oh, shoot, wait. I thought he was just like a fraud or like he wasn't even that cool. He just didn't want to like, use it for entertainment to show off. They just like baited him into it. Oh. The clone, Luffy. <gasps> the wood, he turned into a tree, tree branch. He's running on the walls. I kind of did a shurikens. Yeah, baby. He's real. He's legit. Never popular with girls. He's already brought up twice that girls don't like him. <laughs> I like him. That kind of reminded me of the, the fourth gear thing. Ooh. All right, some respect for Ryzo. All right, all right, I'll, I'll concede that much. At least he kind of proved himself. He kind of had to though, for like everything that we've been through. Come on, man, show us a little bit. No, go back to Robin. Go back to Robin right now. Like actually, bro, I'm gonna freak out. We're just leaving. <laughs> you could be ugly and a ninja. So are we gonna find out why we protected him like this? Now he's regretting showing them. They're just like fanboys now. Guys, Robin? Dude, dude, I'm gonna freak out, man. If it actually just like, we just don't get anything. I'm fiending for some lore. What? Oh, I guess he's seeing how destroyed everything is. They get a general overview. Dang, man. <laughs> Because, like, they're inherently the cause of it. Mm. Yeah, dude, he's almost the same height as Kenemon, but, like, a third of his leg size. What a beautiful city. Oh, my gosh. This is probably how they sort of, like, go, like, segue into why he was protected. So was he chained up to prevent him from giving himself up? That's kind of what it seems like. That's, like, how, how much he didn't want this place to be destroyed like that. Guys, um, <laughs> Robin. <gasps> Go back in. <gasps> okay, thank you. Draw a nautical chart? Wait, what? Pinpoint the location of something? What is a map? This one is called a road poneglyph. It's a map? <gasps> what? A guide to get to the final island? Oh my gosh. And nobody else would have seen this. Raftel. Are there more red ones then that they have to find? Like this will lead them to more? <laughs> Oh, dude, freaking Crocus. No, I think it points to another red poneglyph. They just have to find all those. 
four? Oh, Dios mio. We got another 1,200 episodes to go. Or you need four to pinpoint the location, maybe. Some unknown spot, but it's not Raftel. Eh? All indicate different locations. Eh? How does he know this? Connect the four point. Oh. Dang, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude. Only the King of the Pirates and his crew reached it. Roger's the only one. Oh my gosh, dude. We know how to get there now. That's insane. We have to find three more of these? Oh man, I can't believe it's like even like teasing it a little bit. All right, guys, I have a plan. We find maybe two or three. Don't even have to find the fourth. And then we just brute force it. Check every possible intersection location. Might save some time. I'm not gonna lie. Cause if we're finding the very first red bonoglyph of episode 769, not great shape. I'm gonna be honest. That is cr Oh my gosh. I'm so, so, so glad that we found out in this one exactly what the red bonoglyph was i thought it was gonna bait me i mean it had a very long segment there showing the destroyed city that we already knew was destroyed so i thought it was gonna draw it out to the next one but my goodness gracious that was satisfying so the difference between red and the others the others are more informational red or straight up just geographical sort of navigated not na navigatory is that a word poneglyphs that is sick man that is so cool uh anytime we get anything about the like the overarching plot line of fighting Raftel and the, the world at a glimpse. It's so, uh, I get chills, man. Chills. So now the questions reside. Why is Ryzo so important? What are our next steps? Is it really just going to be Luffy going after Sanji alone? I doubt it. I mean, it just seems like a suicide mission, to be honest, without his crew. I mean, it's an emperor, bro. Like, Dolphamingo was already at the biggest handful in the world, and he was just a warlord, man. I, we know how powerful Whitebeard was. We know how stupidly powerful Shanks is. We've only gotten a tease of how powerful Kaido is. And that scares me. So I can only imagine how powerful Big Mom is to be an emperor. I mean, it's just like, it comes with the title. But getting a lot of lore, getting a lot of information about Wano and this this clan, it's, it's all so good. Guys, that's been it for my reaction today. Drop a like if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Peace, peace.